Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with your laptop device. This is your battery has experienced permanent failure and needs to be replaced. Strike the F1 key to continue or F2 to run the setup utility. There may be variations of this message, but the general concept is the same between all of them. So I'm going to go through a couple different potential workarounds for this, but ultimately the end you know, quote unquote solution for this particular problem is just replacing the battery. And more likely than not, it's an actual issue with the battery has corroded or just exceeded its useful life and needs to be replaced. And that's just the truth of it. So if you want to try a couple of things before you get to that point, depending on your computer's manufacturer, you may want to explore updating the BIOS settings. Make sure you are connected to an AC power source so this means that your laptop is plugged into a wall when you're doing this update because if you are doing a BIOS update, and you can find out instructions for your specific manufacturer online on how to perform a BIOS update for your machine. If you have a power drop or your computer just shuts down doing a BIOS update, you could have an issue with your system board needing to be replaced if the power just completely shuts off and there's no power to it while it's performing such an update. So it's not really recommended if you're having a bad battery issue because then you're losing you know one potential safeguard you have when doing a BIOS update but just want to keep that in mind but a lot of people do it and they don't have problems I just want to point out that that could be a potential issue with doing a BIOS update on a laptop where the battery is not reliable or it's bad you can also generate a battery health report so if you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, you come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And into the command prompt, you want to type in power CFG space forward slash battery report. Exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, power CFG, then a space forward slash battery report. Go ahead and hit enter. So you can see the path that the battery report has been saved to. So we open up File Explorer, and if we navigate over to such a path, I'm just going to move it over. It's not that hard to actually locate the path, but I'm just going to show both on the screen for the moment here. And I'm going to go down to System32. And then there should be a battery report file in here. So if I just click on a random file and just start typing in battery, you see it'll take us to a Microsoft Edge HTML document. So go ahead and double click on that. We can open it up in Notepad as well. It doesn't really matter. We're going to open up in Edge. And it'll give you a rundown of your power usage here. One thing I do want to point out is I'm not on a physical laptop, so it's not going to show me my battery usage here. But this could be useful if you're trying to troubleshoot or also if people are requesting it online on different help forms. They may request that you produce a battery report. So this is how you would do it. Again, it's an unfortunate situation. Hopefully your laptop is still under warranty when you run across an issue like this. But generally speaking, the battery itself is probably bad. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.